Hey, how y'all doing, man? We're back with another episode of the Air Factor, man. I'm Jeremy Robinson, host as always. And go ahead and introduce yourself. I got somebody special here today, so go ahead and introduce yourself once again. Hi, my name is Emery Prude. I'm the youngest person at Clark Atlanta University. All right, uh, that's amazing, man. That's a great title, man. That's a great title. Uh, actually, I graduated from Clark Atlanta University uh, May of 2019, so not that long ago. But uh, one of my my friends, uh, Ronald, he actually is a young guy uh, at Clark Atlanta. So that's amazing. Oh, so, I know, Ron. Yeah, that's the up, man. That's the up. <laughs> well, man, man, what made you want to, you know, attend uh, Clark Atlanta University? Well, when I went on um, campus, I had saw, like, the Black history, how they really cared about Black Lives Matter. Like, they dedicated a lot of time to, you know, just Black Lives Matter marches and, you know, groups supporting everybody. And I really liked it then. I saw how everybody kind of supported each other. Like, they were just like a big family and stuff. And growing up in predominantly white schools, I just never had that. And I really liked the way they interacted with each other. So that's what made me switch to school. All right, bad, man. So so where are you originally from? Um, Hendri- well, I'm from Hendersonville, Tennessee, before I moved to Atlanta. But I'm originally from Amer, Mississippi. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Down that down yonder. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, man. That's all right, man. So like uh how is it being the youngest student at Clark Atlanta University? How you start you started classes already and stuff, right? So yeah, how, hey, man. How was your first semester, man? It was kind of tough. It's a lot, um it's a lot different than high school and you know, middle school and elementary school. It's a lot different than it's a whole different type of ball game. It's a lot different, but I do like how the teachers, you know, would help me through things and support me and how everybody was just welcoming of you know my age. So I really liked it. It really helped me get through the, you know, semester. That's amazing, man. So like I would say, uh, what's your major? You know, what's your major name, man? Criminal justice. All right, that's amazing. See, that's an amazing major right there. I was a computer science and engineering major. So to know that I had some friends that was in criminal justice that are doing great things now. So that's just amazing uh, for you to want to go into that. What made you uh, want to do criminal justice? Well, I had a lot of racial encounters happen to me and I wanted to do, you know, I wanted to help people of my own color and just, you know, inspire people of my own color just to stay out of trouble and stuff because they want you to get in trouble. That was just my whole goal for black people in general was to inspire people and help them and, you know, make some, you know, make at least encourage some people to go back to school. But what made me want to choose criminal justice was because I encountered a lot and I just wanted to help other black people that were innocent, you know, that are losing their lives, that are on death row, that they didn't do anything. Right. I just do that. So. That's amazing, man. So, like, what is your impact there, man? Why you do what you do? I do what I do because I want to inspire people. That's why I do what I do. And you are. You are doing just that, man. You are. Actually, when I seen your story, I was like, that's amazing, man. I got to get on the show, but also got to see how I can work with her, help her out. Because I know a lot of people that go to school, especially you being a younger person, it's like, wow, that's amazing. Like, when I was 15, I was like, I didn't even, you know, fathom what college was, uh, just as much as being on a college campus, uh, Fort Valley State being, from me being from Fort Valley and seeing the campus of Fort Valley State at a young age, it's very interesting. So, kudos <laughs> to you, man. Kudos to you. <laughs> So what's your future, uh, what's your future looking like upon graduation? Like what's your ideal job, or like ideal setting, what you would like to do? My ideal job, I want to be a criminal defense attorney. That's my ideal job. Just to start a um, innocent act, you know, that are, you know, black people that are innocent, that are in jail right now, that they shouldn't be in jail for something that they didn't even do. Mm-hmm. That's my idea for after I graduate. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. Um, what would you say, what would you like to see change in the world? I see you touched on a little bit, but like in the day's time, even what happened with COVID, the social injustice, not only what we've been facing last year, but what we've been facing since the beginning of our time. So. What I like to see change is, number one, I want them to stop killing us. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to see change. And I want Black people to start supporting each other instead of, you know, fighting in the street and, you know, trying to be jealous of each other if the other one have something that the other one doesn't have. Right. You know, I want all that to change. I want Black people to stop dropping out of schools. And I want even white people to stop dropping out of schools. Just because somebody tells you that you can't do it doesn't mean you can't do it. Because I had people that tell me all the time that I can't do it, I can't do it, can't do it. And I was even on the verge of just quitting, you know, just 
didn't want to do it anymore. I was on the verge of doing it, and I'm so happy that I didn't, you know, decide to do anything like that. I am too, man. That's amazing. Uh, every time I see something like that, uh, even saying not even from my school, like seeing somebody doing something great and positive during this time, it like make my day, you know, to see that. So I'm glad that's what you're doing. And also, man, like I feel like a lot of youth and a lot of older people are going to be looking up to you. I know now and in the future. So that's amazing, man. Again, kudos to you. Proud of what you're doing. Also, for you to answer that question like that to say, hey, my ear factor is that I died earlier. That's amazing because a lot of people that come on show be like, hey, wait, let me think real quick, you know, not mm-hmm. knocking them, but saying like, just, you know, what your motto is and like my why is. That's amazing to know that at, at such a young age. Um, so, like, do you have any questions for me? Um, What made you want to start like the it factor? Well, that's, that's an amazing question, man. So um, basically, when I went to CAU, um, I literally was in the computer science program, like struggling. Uh, at first and trying to figure out like, hey, let me go online and see if I see somebody that look like me. Even though I was going to HBC, I was still researching this. Like, let me see if I can get somebody to talk like me, do this son. So, and when I looked and searched, I never found anyone. And like I would, and if I did find someone, they wasn't like teaching anything or like doing something like this. And I was like, what can I do once upon graduating that I can keep going and like building up my community and mix of doing that? So that would make me want to do the it factor and bring on people with different backgrounds, uh, young as yourself or either older than me or anyone else to come on the show and be able to talk about their profession so that people can see this show and feel inspired, but also have somebody to reach out to that I didn't have. Because I definitely, if I had some show like this a long time ago, I'd be like, oh, okay, this is what I actually want to do, man. Let me see how I can, you know, reach out to them, things of that nature. So. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. Like- people's stories out there and when you do that you're inspiring other people because you're reaching out a good story to other people right it's all about changing the narrative man and and be honest with you it's all about helping somebody else man if you're not helping anyone else like that's what we put on this earth for man help other people and in the mix you do that special thing that you like to do for yourself and i feel like in the midst of this this is one of the special things i like to do for myself and it actually helps me more than hinders me and help others, you know, so that's amazing, man. So actually, if you have any shout outs, anything like that, that pretty much is the show. Um, I want to shout out my mom, my aunt, my brother, and all my friends that supported me through this hard, you know, racial injustice journey. Because I went through a lot in schools and they didn't just sit back and watch it. They actually did something, even though they weren't of my color, they still did something. Maybe. Amazing. Well, I look forward to talking to you more and uh, getting to know more about you and uh, actually be reaching out to you soon. Have a great rest of your night. You too.